All right, folks, Mac T here, and we have Herbie. So what we're going to do, do is uh, basically explore what did we get with Herbie. Uh, let's just say I got it for a really good price. That's why it paid to go get it. Uh, but everything adds up, you know, going to get it, gas, trailer, everything, time. So Herbie is no longer the original price we paid for it, but is climbing. And we're probably in a couple grand on her now. So uh, anyway, or him, Herbie, him, uh, but well worth the effort. So we're going to go ahead, go over what is here as far as the engine and what the plans are. Then I'm going to go inside and see what kinds of gifts we have inside as far as the engine goes and the car itself. Because, hey, you know, certain things work, certain things don't. And there's lots of Christmas gifts inside that uh, the previous owner left us. So we're going to go see what's in there. All right, first view, as you all can tell, rusty cams. This is one reason we suspected this engine would not be viable because it is rusty. You can see the rust on it. And then in the back, we also have rusty cams back there that are uh, not uh, the best shape, along with a lot of other things. Uh, the alternator back down in here, uh, we're discussing that. Um, we're probably going to go with another Motocraft alternator to add on to the works. Uh, the cold air intake, I'm in the air about it. I don't know if we're going to go with the factory and just go with factory on it or do a cold air. Uh, this is for my daughter and I'm thinking, you know, ease of uh, maintenance for her. So we may end up doing that. The battery, we don't know what the battery is. We don't know the date on it. Uh, this, we can't find the sticker on it for a date. But the battery has checked out to, uh, what was it, 910? Something like that? It was past its... It's a Napa alleged battery, and so far it is testing out pretty good. So... We will stick with the battery until it gives us anything differently, but it's checking out for the most part. Uh, engine lifts, we do have one back here to lift it. We do not have one up here because we have to remove the exhaust manifold to get to it. So we may, you know, since the engine to us is junk, we may just run straps in the cams here and lift it up by the cams and the lift back there when we get everything off. But we are taking the entire front end off of this. Cross members, everything, we're lifting it with an engine lift right here, and we're going to lift it right out the front. But as it stands right now, new engine, new alternator. Uh, we may do a few other things. I have an offer to polish and port the intakes. So uh, I may have them done. We may take that off, and we may take the... Uh, uh, the other intake have them polished and ported just to make them a little bit better but uh, fluids of course will all be changed brake fluid everything all general maintenance will be performed on it by the time we get it back together and maybe even polish those headlights up but this is how it looks when you transport it now let's go check the inside and see what kind of gifts we got and uh, we have a bad tire so uh, I'm just going to say based on the tires that I'm seeing on it uh, I will not put my daughter in these tires. I will put some, uh, if uh, everything works out, some Michelin Cross Climate Twos on it since it is all-wheel drive. Now we do have the tensioner and we have some fasteners and we have the harmonic balancer. We have wiring di diagrams for a 2011. These are all Ford actual service manuals that he kindly gave me. Uh, we have light bulbs. We have the actual manual and Christmas tree, folks. Yep, there's an SCT tuner that comes with this car. That's a bonus all by itself. So, yes, we may tune it since we already have the tuner. And then we have the driver's side fuse panel. But, SCT tuner, that's probably as valuable as what I paid for the car, don't you think, Jeff? <laughs> and, holy cow, 
we have dirt we have dirty seats probably a little mildewy who knows but uh, that will be taken care of by the new owner of the car mercy girl we have some boxes of parts and we have the back and we can't get the back open right Jeff yeah the back will not open but the battery is not connected even with the battery connected it wouldn't open okay so I'm gonna have to crawl back there to get the back open so uh, let's go ahead and see what's in these boxes over here okay let's see what's in here oh my gosh I'm gonna say are these lights These are, this is an HID kit. Look at that. This is an HID kit. We can convert the headlights to HID lights. It comes with an HID kit. It gets even better, folks. This is like Christmas all over. Here we go. There's a brand new water pump for it. And the gaskets are here, I hope. Yep, the gaskets are right there. So we got a brand new water pump, but hey, we don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> and a timing chain kit. Uh, I don't know what brand that is. G something. Doesn't really say. Domestic gaskets. California. Well, this is definitely not a Ford kit, so don't know what I'm going to say we're going to do with this. I may, uh, I don't know, I may have to sell it to Antonio. Sell it to Antonio, he probably need it, except he won't give me any money for it. He'll have to borrow the money. <laughs> Sorry, Antonio. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'll decide later what I'm going to do with this. I may uh, just throw it on the group as a as a good deal type purchase but it is not a motorcraft part so you know there is that oh my gosh folks two LCA's and then I don't know what these are inner tie rods and I want to say these are gosh What are these? Outer tie rods. So we got a lot of parts here just to rebuild the front end. Brand new. It just keeps getting better, folks. Do you think I got a good deal yet? Anyway, folks, we have a wheel liner that we had in the back. We have the entire factory intake system. We found one brand new rotor. Yeah, buddy doesn't look like a cheap one plus I did pay for this uh, but uh, this is a hitch that he had he wanted to know if I wanted to buy it from him I said sure so I paid him for that we have the valve covers and uh, it's not, probably not the updated one but we do have the intake which is what we need and then we have some ceramic brake pads that come with it along with some new rear trailing arm parts that are brand new and then uh, some other intake stuff uh, coils and miscellaneous pieces and parts that we will probably get a, I got a new throttle body so we're gonna go ahead and uh, use the new throttle body for this but I also have new motor mounts new trans mount and new uh, what do you call it uh, torque mount so we're getting a lot of new parts out of this deal that we will go ahead and put in this edge. And we're trying to get this door open. There we go. Got it. Good Look who I found. He came free hey. too. Yeah. <laughs> With the monkeys. <laughs> Leave it to me to make the older guy go back there to hatch and open it. But we do have a hatch problem. We have to figure out what the problem is with it, why it isn't opening. Uh, but we'll figure that out in the end. But for now, we'll probably just we'll probably just use a screwdriver and lock this down so it won't shut. 
that way we want to get in it will always be open until we get to it but uh, has some floor mats that came with it and it comes with worms what is that bait I, he's a hunter and a fisher so you know that goes in here but this is what it looks like on the inside and uh, Mercy Grill has a tough cleaning job ahead of her <laughs> hey there is some clean parts oh we got a little ball we got the funnel yet and we got oh, a brand new perfect tire never used so I think we're set there but she's got a lot of cleaning ahead and uh, we'll be doing that here shortly but we do have this Jeff got a little mousy problem uh, I'm guessing a hunting dog in the back seat that may be it looks like I may have to see what we can do to fix that yeah uh, but because there's a dog here all you know throughout yeah it might be a puppy dog that was eating that either way it's just just a blemish nothing that can't be fixed I might even be able to take it to a poultry shop and they might be able to just patch it think a poultry shop shop could patch that Jeff probably could because there's probably a lot of used door panels out there too yeah it's just a pad you might yeah, we might just change out the door panel with with a newer one, used one from uh, some place, and just you know swap it out. Not a big deal. But like I said, it is a used car, and uh, it's dirty. You can see, but the leather and everything here is overall good shape. Driver's seat looks a lot of dog hair. It does have the touch pad, so she can do that. And then the floorboards and everything, we have some dirt and grime. But everything here looks good. It just needs a good cleaning. And uh, I think we'll be set. I do not know if this is a navigation on this or not. Uh, Jeff's going to hook up the battery, see if we can get something out of it. I did get one key, and the key does have a remote start attached to it. So... We shall see. It's powering up right now. Yep. Okay, it's got 151,000 miles on it, Jeff. He said 130, but it's got 150, almost 152,000 miles on it. Let me see what happens when I turn the key on to accessory. I get lots of lights. I don't know why. All sorts of lights. Battery, wrench... Yeah, service advance track, low engine oil pressure, check charging system, fluid coolant over temperature, low <laughs> fuel level to empty, check all wheel drive. <laughs> That's all we gotta do. Service advance track. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> and the doors are I, I I don't know that uh, we're gonna get very far with this one. <laughs> it's got every lift gate ajar. Uh, this isn't even turning on so I don't know if it's because of anything that's going on but yeah this APEM is not even turning on so it's a 2011 so I'm assuming the APEM is not going to work uh, we may have to go a sync 3 on this one but I think I know an end to a guy that would be able to provide me with a sync 3 to update Nice. So, yeah, it just keeps getting more better. That's right, more and more better, as proper English isn't spoken. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we got a dead APIM. So, yep, sorts of, all sorts of surprises, but we're going to keep moving forward. And, uh, of course, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Help support this channel so we can keep doing content like this. And uh, follow this project along. Give me all the likes and, and everything else you can and uh, just help me support this because uh, this is a fairly expensive pro you know, project and uh, by watching my videos you help pay for what I'm doing here. So anyway, my feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day and I want you to have a great day too. Also, Band of One's got some great music and the girl that's getting this car is Mercy Girl and she always has a couple of one-liners for you.
Thank you for watching MacT's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.